Welkom terug bij ons. Voordat ons zuid Afrikaanse verbruikers en financiers op die tafel neerle, gaan kyk die wens zijn span bij Fun Studio in Bakta North Johannesburg. Dat is altijd geleerd hier in midden die storm. Robin Davy, een fotograaf en ontwerper, heeft tijdens die 2021 in Perkin een zilverankie raak gezien en dit met open arms aangegrijp. Fin is named for, it's a, it's a German name actually, which just means light. It is a natural light studio. We started in photography, that is my absolute number one love from 10 years ago already. And then diversified out into Studio High, this beautiful space that we're sitting in now. Uh, we also offer photo books online and easy peasy DIY online service, and then graphic design as well. It has been an incredibly daunting and difficult process to grow from a one woman show to a 15 member team. Um, starting out from being just a photographer and you are, you're this one human island and you're so used to just thinking you have to do everything yourself. You have to book the clients, shoot them, edit the photos, run the emails, do absolutely everything. But for me, I realized there was a point where I, I hit a glass ceiling and there were only so many hours in the day and that means I'd, I'd hit my earning potential and I think I was 26 or 27 years old. I was like, this can't be it for the rest of my life. This can't be all I can achieve. It was then that I decided to take on my first associate photographer. 2021, as we know, was pandemic station and for me, launching two new businesses in the middle of that was incredibly stressful, but also a calculated risk. In terms of Finn Studio, our natural light studio space, it was, I think, a necessity more than anything else. Uh, yes, a lot of photographers weren't working as much, but that was also because there weren't safe spaces for them to shoot anymore. And it is absolutely a one wonderful to see the array of clients that we have coming through here. Sometimes even in a day, you can go from a product shoot to a fashion shoot to newborn to commercial. We even do small scale events here. So having it as a workshop space is one of my favorite things to have here. We are so used to a studio space being this traditional boring white space with a white infinity curve at the back. But our space is designed a little bit different. It's more of a lifestyle studio. That's why we have props and backgrounds and different color walls that you can use. And last year as well, we also launched uh, Finn Photo Books. It's an online service where anyone as a client can pop on and quickly and easily make a photo book. Uh, we started it because previously we were offering in-house design, which is labor intensive, so therefore not really cost effective for from a client's perspective. It was a big challenge actually more than anything else because sitting down and suddenly realizing that you want wanted some pretty serious software, meant that we did some shopping around. We were getting quotes for half a million rand to build the piece of software that we wanted. It's just me running my company. I don't have any corporate investors. I don't have angel investors. I don't have my dad paying for this whole thing. Uh, but I did find a company in the UK who was selling the software already pre-built. So that helped us a lot. That ended up being about a 70, 80K investment. And we pay a license key every month as well. So it's, it's still a costly endeavor, definitely but the opportunity to be able to offer our clients something that is really easy for them to jump online, create photo books, print them and get really beautiful quality books out of it. That's where, where we're going and I'm hoping that it turns out to be a profitable ende endeavor at the end of the day. It's a good question, diversification in terms of what you're offering as, as any creative. I think especially in South Africa because we don't have niche markets. I think in America you'll see a lot of photographers who'll do very, very niche types of photography. But here in South Africa, there's not as much market for it. So it's really good to be able to offer a whole range of services. We are so focused as society on building and growing and achieving the next thing. Some of the best business advice that I've ever received sometimes is just to consolidate, it's just to rest, is to take a pause and a beat. We launched two new businesses last year. I promised my team we wouldn't launch another one this year because it is, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of stress. So this year for us is just a, a year of consolidation and a year of building on what we've got already and then we'll see we'll see what other ideas I come up with next year and, and what we launch in the years to come. Skuld bestuur kenners by Detsuif het tot einde juni een peiling geloods om vast te stel hoe Suid-Afrikaanse verbruikers sy finansies lyk. Ons neem een verrige advertentiebreek en gesels net hierna met Carla Oberhose.